you had joke toys. Well, I don't think this is that. that it will quite literally knock down, oh, half a dozen cans and about 10 feet away from it. So that's the premise for the toy. Here's the problem. The toy was only out for a year before parents started complaining that it was bursting children's eardrums. And here's why. It killed because children? It didn't kill anybody. It killed children. I'm gonna kill you. They choked on the Boba Fett that shot out of that thing. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? It's sad. And it did cause the death of children. Did, yes, I, did I not hear that correctly? You heard it death. correctly. Death of children. Death of children. The death, the death of children. Because, because yes, yes. this thing and was they so choked loud. On a, choked on a Cylon. This no. thing is so loud that when children are holding it right here next to their ears and they and they pull the trigger, it, it bursts children's what, ears. What was the name of the original toy? Sonic. It's called a Sonic Blaster. <laughs> this is the most unusual weapon. It is specially designed for counter-espionage, for Agent Zero M. It's called the Zero M Sonic Blaster. This is why. It fires a massive blast of compressed air, and this tremendous roar is the actual sound. <laughs> so, so, we, so we didn't think that the toy called Sonic Blaster was going to injure our children. What amazes well, me is it works it. better than they thought it would. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, sure. but <laughs> they don't build them like well, they used gonna, to. Well, kids are going to hold it right here next to their ears. How is this a good idea? So what, so what ended up happening is a lot of kids in the '60s lost their hearing and and broke so, the eardrum. So that's the '60s toy. Right. What is that like? That's a movie prop or a, 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 a prop? It, it was just it was just a toy. Okay. So what happened is within the first year, within the first year, they went ahead and they pulled this off of the market. And they only made one commercial for it. Ironically enough, if you go back and if you look on YouTube or somewhere, uh, you can still find the original commercial. And the original commercial stars of all people. When toys are sold, remember the password. Zero M. Kurt Russell as a child. Kurt and Russell. And he's demonstrating the toy. This is... So, Ironically, Kurt Russell is not dead. Yes. But, but you're telling me... So, so that's a story of the toy. So if you go back and if you watch the 1966 Batman movie, not the series... It's in the series. Is it also in the series? Okay. Oh, you just got caught. Uh, yeah, you remember when Penguin oh, had the gold boom. tank? With Marsha Queen of Diamonds, the tank made of gold. That's the first time you see that. But it's still on the boat. It's in the it's in the trunk of the Batmobile and it doesn't have the... Ah, it doesn't have the... Okay. Here's one thing we can agree on on this show. We love it when Armando's wrong. Everybody loves it when Armando's wrong. Oh, Armando's God, it's so good. Funky Jedi. Gotcha. Taking a fall. Hey, how are you, man? You're so good at this. <laughs> so basically, what happened is, if you watch the 1966 Batman movie with Burt Ward and Adam West, you will see, you will see, um, where Robin is on the bat boat, and he pulls this thing out of the back, and they call it a bat charger, and he goes and he shoots like a laser or some fucking thing out of it. Um, and basically, what they did is they took out, they took out the lever, which which Doc has already done. They took out the lever, uh, one of the buttons are painted yellow, and they made these fins... We have more props. 
they made these fins, which are most likely are made out of plexiglass, which is what Doc had made. I think they were tin in the series. Yeah, yeah, like yeah probably metal. metal. And another time Armando's wrong. I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> he just doesn't like to admit it. Oh, I admit it. He's not a player. He's just wrong a lot. I am wrong a lot. <laughs> well, I got him on backwards, but. But basically, these things go on, and then where's where's the where's the top? Yeah, and then that piece goes on, and then this yellow, this red stripe is painted yellow. And then of course, what they did is they got like this big orange rocket with a with a yellow cable. Um, when we do this later, I have one completed, and I'll actually show you what it looks like in the movie. But um, but they did very little to it to convert it to the prop that you see in the movie. I mean, it's basically all there. They just added a few things and they took away a few things. But it's basically, it's basically, yeah, that's more or less it. Um, now here's the thing. It's, so is, this for, is screen accurate. This is screen used. No, 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 no. You gotta ask when you were done. <laughs> okay. You gotta ask no. when you were done. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, between us, screen used. Screen accurate, close enough. That's the way. That's the way this works. And we love each other. That's the way this all works. Except my stuff is good for cosplay. Apparently, that's good for cosplay. Um, Back to the bat thing. So, What's it called again? A bat charger? Bat well, yeah, bat charger. When, when, bat when bat they used it, when they used it on the boat. It actually had that like this big cable that came out of the back, and it went into something on the boat. And they called it a bat charger. Now in the series, they removed the cable from the back, and they actually call it a bat zooka. Bat zooka. But it's it's basically it's still the same prop. So um, both times they use it just against penguin, which seems odd. So so this is so this is it, um, basically with a. It's mostly disassembled. The charger lever is gone, um, but uh, but I'll bring over my finished one, and you'll see what it actually looks like in the if, movie. If I wanted to find one of these, the garage sale it. The uh... you can you can. Here's the problem. It's 20 years ago. You could have probably gone to somebody's garage sale, and you probably took one up for about three or four dollars. However, with the birth of the internet now. Um, and everybody knowing that everything has pretty much got a substantial dollar. No amount. one's getting that. Like, you, um, we're not finding this anymore. Well, no, 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 no. no you can find them on eBay. You can find them on eBay. The thing is, it's they'll generally go for about three or four hundred dollars. Ah, what? Now. With, what? Now, I'm making that out of PVC. You're making that out of PVC. Now. I'm 3D printing the... Now. Three hundred bucks. Okay, but listen, but listen. It's broken, for a, for a okay, death-bringing okay, Kurt Russell... But, but here's what you gotta keep in mind, okay, all right? Okay, let me keep in mind. Okay, you don't want it to work because you're only gonna uh, break it and you're gonna, gonna disassemble it anyhow. Oh, so this, oh wait, you were telling me there's an arm here missing. Broken, there's a lever here okay. that you have to take off anyway. So the thing is, it's the ones that go for $300, $400. The rubber bladder that's 50 years old is still pliable and it still works. Those are the ones that go for a lot of money because there's a lot of vintage toy collectors out there. But we don't need that. That's not what you want. What you want to do is, like what I did, I picked mine up, I want to say for like 60 or $65, because it was broken. The bladder didn't work anymore, which is completely fine, because I'm only going to take it apart 60 anyway. bucks is well worth yeah. it. That's well worth it. So, if you're looking to make your own Batsuka, I would recommend, look on eBay, and if you're paying more than $100, you're paying too much. Look for a broken one, because the majority of them are broken anyway. And the toy's called what? It's called a Sonic Blaster. Sonic Blaster. Yes. Um, so, um, and, and of course, this piece here, this has also got to come off anyway, because right here inside this groove, and inside this groove, this is where this orange missile is going to fit into. So you see, so you got to take off so much of it. Um, oh, did we find one? Brand new in package, $850. There you $850. go. $850. There you go. Oh, that is not well, what I, you want. I, I'm not. Yeah. You I want can't the, even. Buy it now. It's not working. Do not, do not buy this. That's because, crazy. Because you're only going to have to. Dis All right, $850. $850. Bucks. $60 you're, bucks is a yeah, steal. You're only going to have to destroy it to make it movie accurate. 
So don't buy one brand new because you're only going to have to take it apart. If you're a vintage toy collector, by all means, more power to you. That's somebody else's YouTube channel. That's Is it, not ours. Would, would this be the Graflex of Batman collecting? Is this like... Because like Graflexes are expensive, aren't they? They're super expensive. They can be relatively expensive. And I don't think people who collect 60s toys want people well, chopping these up. So it's better to get a broken one, right? Yeah. Oh, by yeah, all yeah, means, yeah. by all means, get a broken one because you know what? If somebody gave me a like a, a full working yeah. one, it would break my heart. I would sell it for 850. That's what I'd do. 850 bucks. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. If somebody gave me and one, buy a broken one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 60. yeah, it would break my heart to take a full a 50 year old vintage with with such a rich history. It would break my heart to go and take one apart. I would never do that. I keep it and I put it in, in 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 my collection. But a broken one, by all means, take it apart, jack with it, dick with it, take it apart, and make it make it accurate to what you see in the movie. And then you've got a really cool movie prop. But like Dude, I said, I'll it. show you. I'll show you a finished picture. And Neil, if you could, you you can find screen caps or or for or for our viewers. Yeah, yeah. You could go and look up the 1966. Um, Google 1966 Batman movie and actually put in Batzooka and then look at your images and you will see Robin holding up the proper one and you'll see how it differs from this. But um, th but the last thing that um, uh, 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 that I want to say is and and Doc actually because this is Doc's mine's done with the exception of the fins only because I couldn't bring myself to cut this part off. Which, which is what, what Doc did. He had this cut, this part cut off so that you can put these fins on here. Mine does not have the fins because I just couldn't bring myself to cut off the piece. But after I saw, I couldn't bring myself to cut off. But after I just, saw what a just, great job he did. Can't you just mod this thing and just like notch it to get it over the yeah. end? Yeah, you, you almost have to just cut it here and cut it here at the bottom and then put the two pieces together over it and then glue them together. But after I saw how clean this piece came off, that's really just the best way to do it, is to go ahead and just cut it off and then slide your pieces on here and then just glue this piece back on. That's really that's really your, your because it, it's just gonna look clean. We'll check it out. I think you, you, yours need, your, this one's gonna get finished. Yours needs finishing. And it's yeah, gonna be awesome. Yeah, the fins and it's done. Right, right. I've already got the missile and the coil and everything else. Rocket. Good night, sir. Thank you so much. Have a good night. 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 So there Closing you go. time. So uh, you. Oh no, no singing. Oh, no fun. There's only one on eBay. So I'm. Can you find a screen cap? Um, okay. What? What? What now? Yeah, if you can find a screen cap of the one that Robin uses. Who can find a screen cap first? But it really is. A I bet it's prop. me because I'm gonna insert it right now. Um, yeah, there it's, you go. Yeah, wow, look, that look, was look. Fast. I have a Whoa. Turn it oh, sideways. On the prop. There you go. So that's what it looks like. That's from the movie. Yellow front. It's got. Is that like a harpoon? Hang out of that real quick. It's like a missile, missile. or radar. Yeah, it's it's and and what I did to make mine is I just used a um, what I actually use if you can believe it because if you look at this missile, this orange missile, it's tapered. It's not the same diameter all the way. It's skinny here and it gets wider. So what I did is I found a, and if you can believe this, turkey baster. At Kmart, I found a children's pull cue stick. Oh. So because it goes from big yeah. to, 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 to taper off. So I went ahead and I cut it down to the proper size and I cut it off and then I sanded it. And then for your little pointer part here, the little missile part in the front, I actually used the nose cone of an Estes rocket. Ah, that makes sense. And I just glued it on, I spray painted the whole thing orange, and then I just used automotive yellow cable. I didn't even paint the cable. It's just automotive yellow cable, and I wrapped it around, and, um, and uh, I, yeah, I did it. For me to, with the exception of the fins, I think it took me two days from the day that I got the Sonic Blaster until the day that I finished it. It took me about two days. The hardest part is, and guys, I don't care. I don't care what you go. I don't care who you are. Um, if you're like me, I love vintage toys. I adore vintage toys. And it breaks my heart anytime that I see a really good vintage toy that's broken or doesn't work. Um, 
and I will not be the guy that takes a perfectly great vintage toy and destroy it just to make a movie prop. I can't bring myself to do it. However, if you get one of these Sonic Blasters, you're going to have to break it. You're going to have to take it apart. You're going to have to destroy it. Get over it. Um, <laughs> I mean, we're gonna destroy your childhood, folks. Yeah. Um, oh, I, dude. I but mean, that's anybody who had one of these probably can't hear anything we're saying right <laughs> now. So we should be fine. Because so many <laughs> children went dead. Children. So, I want one. so the moral of the story is, if you get one again. Don't spend the money on a full Don't working spend one. the money. You're only gonna have to destroy it in order to be able to make your prop. And buy a used one that's exactly. already broken. Exactly. And then you can make your own Batzuka. Or Bat Charger. Or Bat Charger. Depending bat on. Bat Charges, yeah. And then you can be the super Batman guy. I'm not the Batman guy. You're you're a Batman guy. You're, like you're, you're he's an everything guy. Batman, right? You're a Batman no, no. guy. Because of the you are Batman. And because of right now I'll slide you in. Uh, ordering well, Whataburger at three in the morning yeah. in your Batman costume. And Alex, Alex Ross, I mean, it's, it's a big, it's like big now, 66. Yeah, yeah it's, it's for many years, 1966 Batman stuff was, you couldn't find it. Um, only because, oh, now it's popular. Well, the reason it's popular is because now they finally got all the licenses cleared because uh, they had so many guest stars and it's like nobody signed off on you being able to use our images. And stuff. But now they finally made a deal with everybody and that's why if you go out to, if you go to the internet, now you'll see a slew of 1966 Batman toys and Batman items. Um, so uh, that's all I got. Dude, that's totally rocking. All right, we're going to cut. <laughs> Doc, thanks for letting us do uh, no Talking Props and Doc's no Bar. I don't know, what did we call this? Pleasure, sir. Rocking, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Propcast. Propcast. Yeah. There you go. We made it. The Propcast. The Propcast.